want a voice from the privilege they turned their backs on Jobson slams Harry and Meghan. Robert Jobson has hit out at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as he accused them of wanting to use the voice that comes with the privilege they turned their backs on. Robert Jobson joined Susanna Reid and Robert Rinder on Wednesday's Good Morning Britain to discuss the latest comments made by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In a recent interview with the New York Times Deal Book Summit, Meghan suggested tabloid newspapers should come with a mental health warning similar to the ones found on cigarette packaging. Meanwhile, Prince Harry claimed he warned Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey the day before the U.S. Capitol riots. Jobson and Rinder blasted the royal couple on GMB while Reid disagreed with the pair. Rinder said, I don't agree with Susanna on this one quietly and calmly but I think, Susanna's, entitled to be wrong from time to time. I don't think any more minds than using their platform for campaigning about mental health, all of their extraordinary work, the Invictus Games, the equal pay work the Duchess of Sussex does, all of that stuff matters. What people at home struggle with, what they cannot tolerate or frankly they will never accept is the degree of hypocrisy claiming that the tabloids are on the one hand are terrible things when of course they rely on the oxygen of that publicity. Secondly, is Instagram toxic bearing in mind the things they could do? He complains probably validly about what happened to the late Princess Diana, Rinder continued. Yet is prepared to take money from Netflix that is distorting the truth about what happened in her final days so much so that Jemima Khan who was an advisor on that show has walked off. It's hypocrisy the British public can't stand, isn't it? Jobson replied, a bit of that Rob but the reality is with Netflix the difference is their numbers involved we're talking multi-millions, he's not going to turn that down. It's a fictional program The Crown so he could argue that but my thing is they've got a platform because of the royal family. Let's be honest, he said. Meghan Markle was a bewaited artist a bit above that I supposed before she married into the royal family. She got a title and she's now using that title to campaign in America on political issues well drop the title. As for Harry an army officer served very well in Afghanistan but would he have this platform without the royal family, a royal family they've absolutely tarnished the image off in America. That irritates me because I don't think the Queen and the rest of the royal family deserve the criticism they've had.